Hello and welcome to the Fluency Terminology tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to be covering how to uh, import and export terminology and make use of it in Fluency. Uh, to start off with we're going to go up here to the terminology menu and we'll go to import export terminology and we're going to go ahead and hit browse and show you some of the available files that file formats that Fluency can import terminology from. And here we have a note that Fluency is expecting a uh, source term followed by the translated term or the target term. And then you have these optional columns that may follow after that. And we'll go ahead and hit OK. We'll explain what that means here in a moment a little bit more. Now Fluency can support the uh, import of term-based exchange files, both the basic and the, and the full um, scheme terminology based exchange files and also supports uh, tab delimited text and tab delimited tab files which are essentially the same just different extension there and we have also support for SDL multi-term and Excel and CSV files so we're going to actually start off with an Excel file I'm actually going to back out of here for a moment we'll come back shortly and I have here a sample Excel file now here you notice we have our uh, source column which is English and followed by domain, project, and then Spanish. And if you recall, Fluency is expecting a different layout than this. And so we're just going to make it easy on ourselves. We're going to make this real simple by just removing these two columns here. And there happens to be a little bit of uh, stuff in column C down below. We're actually going to leave that so we can demonstrate how to work around that here in just a little bit. So we can just put something right there. Okay, so now that we have just our two columns that Fluency is expecting, uh, we'll go ahead and save this. Put a two right there, and we'll go ahead and then import it into Fluency. So going back into Fluency, we now go to Terminology, Import Export Terminology, and we'll browse for our file. And switch the filter to Excel so we can see our Excel file. There it is, and open. All right, from here, uh, you'll notice that we do have column three is showing up, just as we expected, but we don't want that column. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually click on the one here, and I'm going to hold down my control button and highlight two. So we're just going to import columns one and two. And then if you'll recall, we had a header that said English and Spanish. And so we actually don't want to import that. That was the first row. So what we're going to go here and do is highlight call, uh, row one as a row we want to exclude. So we don't want to bring in that first row that said Spanish and then uh, English, English and Spanish. So we're going to skip that row. So now that we've got that, we're going to hit OK. So we're going to import everything in columns one and two, rows two through the end. So OK. All right. And now it's read the file, and now from here we can put in some special uh, projects, clients, and domains. So we'll say uh, special project client name. We'll say this is for IBM, and domain we'll say is medical. Okay, so that's now going to import the terminology from this Excel file and add it to all the terminology that I already have in there uh, as part of my personal terminology. So we'll do import and 309 terms. Okay. So we'll go ahead and close that. And now from here we can go in and manage this terminology that we've just imported. Now I had some in here before and uh, we've of course just added to it. So we had some from different projects here. So if we want we can just filter and see just our new terminology by typing in special project. So instead of seeing all the terms, we now just see the 309 that we just imported. And we can filter by project or client or domain and make use of these, these filters here. And uh, one of the other things you can do at this point is if you do your translation and you find that you don't care for having this terminology in here from this client and you want to get rid of it when you're done, you can always go to Tools and Remove Terms Wizard. 
and we say, okay, we don't want to remove all our terminology. We only want to remove the terminology for the client IBM. Or perhaps we want to remove terminology from the domain medical or project medical firm. So we're actually going to do this. We're just going to get rid of it. We have 618, and half of those are from this one, and half are from this one. So we'll go ahead and get rid of this one here. Delete matches. Okay. And I got rid of 309, and now we're left with just the ones we just barely imported. And that works just fine, so we'll go ahead and do save and quit. All right. So now we're going to open a source file here and see some of our imported terminology and how that will show up in the document. So from here I go ahead and do OK. And as we move forward, you notice this is highlighted in blue here and also down here. So this is one of the terms that we had in our list that we imported. Now if I click on this, what you'll see over here on the right-hand side is Fluency had some terminology in there already for this word. And now uh, we've added some which will supersede whatever was in Fluency. And you also see the uh, other information available here. So you have a quick view here which will just show you the term. And over here on the right-hand side, you'll have additional information available if you click on that uh, specific term. And so that's how Fluency will make use of any of your uh, personal terminology that you import into the system. And again, that will show up down there uh, or in blue as, as you uh, translate the document. And then when we're done, if we'd like to export any terminology, we go back here into this and do Export Terminology. If we want, we can apply filters and only uh, export certain portions of our personal terminology or we could just get all of it. And we do export here. And you notice that Fluency will now save out a uh, tabbed limited text file. And so we'll say my terms. And if we go back to the desktop here, have this file. We're going to open it with a special editor here. It's uh, just a text file. We could open it in Notepad, but we're just going to open it in this one. It makes the formatting look a little better. And you'll see each of our entries there are separated by tabs. And that's how you import and export terminology in Fluency. And if you run into any difficulties with this, uh, we are available to uh, support our clients in uh, manipulating any files they have to making them import better into Fluency. And you can reach us at support at westernstandard.com. Thank you.